हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस एन सी ई आर डी क्लास सिक्स चैप्टर नंबर टू ऑफ जोग्राफी दैट इज ग्लोब डियर फ्रेंड्स द वर्ड ग्लोब कम्स फ्रॉम द लैटिन वर्ड ग्लोबस विच मीन्स अस्फियर दस ग्लोब इज द स्पेरिकल मॉडल ऑफ द अर्थ इट मे वेरी इन साइज एंड टाइप्स फॉर आवर कंफर्टेबल कंट्रीज continents and oceans are shown on the globe in their respective size dear friends to describe the location of any place on the globe we need certain fixed point so that we may locate any place easily friends earth rotates with respect to a fixed point lying on itself is called axis dear friends what we see in figure here we see that a sphere like shape is standing with the help of a stand and there are two needles first one is upper needle and the second one is lower needle and the the earth like shape is inclined with some axis friends real earth is also inclined as the as shown in the figure so these two points are basically axis of the globe the upper axis is called north pole and the lower axis is called south pole friends here we have to know that the real earth has no any kinds of axis in reality basically it is an imaginary line which join north and south poles friends earth has no any kinds of support system it freely hang in the universe friends there are some other imaginary line which passes on the globe friends what we see in the figure there is a red line lying on the globe this line actually divides the globe into two equal part this dividing line is basically known as equator the equator is the biggest imaginary circle on the earth the upper part cut by the equator is known as north hemisphere and the lower part is known as south hemisphere friends here the important is that equator cuts the both part in equal half friends what we see in the figure here we see that besides equator there are some other lines some are parallel to the equator and other are perpendicular to the equator so let we know about latitudes dear friends latitudes are basically parallel to the equator and drawn from equal interval friends what we see here we see that on the both the hemisphere there are some parallel lines on equal interval basically they are called latitudes the measure of latitudes is made in degrees and the equator represents 0 degree and as we move towards the poles whether it is north pole or south pole the degree increases here what we see here friends the distance from the equator to the pole is basically 1/4 of the circle so how we know that friends we know that what we see the front face of the earth it covers only half and half of the shape is hidden so basically what is looking in the figure it covers only half angle so the half of 360 is 180 degree thus 
the equator divides both the hemisphere into two equal part it means the angle will also be divided into two half the full half is 180 degree it means the one fourth is equal to 360 divided by 4 is equal to 90 degree thus one side from the equator to the pole is 90 degree on the same way one side to the other pole is equal to 90 degree so the total is 180 degree friends the north pole is basically represented by the capital letter n and the same way south pole is represented by capital letter s friends there are some other lines we have discussed already those are perpendicular or intersecting each other so what are those lines let we have to know those lines are basically longitudes friends longitudes are those imaginary lines which are drawn from joining the north and the south pole these are these are also imaginary lines these are not in reality lying on the earth friends the distance between two longitudes is maximum at the equator and minimum at the poles from equator to the poles as we move we see that the distance between two longitudes reduces and at the poles all longitudinal lines coincides friends in order to locate any place we have to know that how the object is far away east or west and where these places are situated as we know that latitudes are measured in degree in the same way longitudes are also measured in degree further this degree is divided into minutes and on the same way minutes divided into seconds friends here what we face the difficulty to locate any place we face that because of numbers of meridian or longitudinal lines all the countries decided that the counting of meridian or longitudinal lines will start which passes through the royal british observatory that is we have to know a fixed point from where we can count the lines so royal british observatory were was fixed as meridian this is also known as prime meridian it means any kinds of longitudinal counting or degree is calculated from here and it represents zero degree longitude friends one round of globe covers 360 degree and the prime meridian is also divided into two equal part it means prime meridian divides the angle into 180 degree east and 180 degree west friends uh, let how to locate any place with the help of longitude and latitudes here a small figure is given what we see here we see that there are two points given on the figure the first one is p and the second one is q dear friends the perpendicular line represents longitudes and the horizontal line intersecting to the longitudes is known as latitudes here 
where two intersecting points meets let p and q so if we have to find the location of p then what we do we see that the latitude line is represented by a and we know that latitude or longitude is represented in degree that is why what we see that is a degree on the same way what we see longitude the longitudinal line which intersect a that is 2 it means the longitudinal line is 2 degree thus both the line are intersecting at p let we imagine that this figure is shown on northern hemisphere so what will be what will happen this means the p point would be read as a degree north latitude 2 degree east longitude repeat it again what is a degree north latitude and 2 degree east longitude on the same way if we have to locate the point q then what we do we see that the horizontal line c latitude is intersecting 3 degree longitude so what we read this c degree latitude north and 3 degree longitude east repeat it again c degree latitude north and 3 degree longitude east friends here what we see some important parallel latitudes friends here in the figure besides equator there are two other lines parallel to the equator shown in red color so what we study here these two parallel lines are basically known as tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn friends the line which lies in the northern hemisphere is known as tropic of cancer and the line which lies in lower side or southern hemisphere is known as tropic of capricorn so in the figure we have given many information so let we discuss the first one is tropic of cancer dear friends the tropic of cancer is basically passes through 23 degree and half from the equator so friends the basically the angle is measured from the equator that is 0 degree equator friends let the tropic of capricorn friends the tropic of capricorn also passes through 23 degree and half in southern hemisphere dear friends besides these two lines there are two other important lines lying on the both the hemisphere one by one so we will discuss also here the first one is arctic circle that is found in northern hemisphere at the angle of 
66 degree and half north. The name of Arctic Circle is because of that Arctic continent is there. Dear friends, on the same way we found on the northern hemis sorry southern hemisphere at 66 and half degree south antarctic circle the name is because of antarctic continent so here what we see here arctic circle passes through 66 degree and half away from the equator in the northern hemisphere and antarctic circle passes through 66 and half away from the equator in the southern hemisphere friends due to these circles and with the help of sunlight there are also found some heat zone friends as we know that the earth is in spherical in shape and due to this reason the sunlight is not uniform on the earth so due to this similarity the earth did not found uniform sunlight at every place so due to this reason some heat zones are found on the earth so we will discuss here so heat zone of the earth so friends basically there are found three type of heat zones on the earth the first one is torrid zone so friends here we will discuss torrid zone friends when the midday sun become exactly overhead at least once a year on all latitudes between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn so when sun is overhead between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn then it will absorb more heat so due to this reason this particular zone will get more sunlight so it will be heater than another friends the torrid zone is found basically between equator to 23 degree and half north that is tropic of cancer and from equator to 23 degree and half south that is tropic of capricorn friends the second heat zone is temperate zone friends in this zone the temperature is comparatively low as to torrid zone friends as we move towards the pole what we see here that sunlight travels more distance so that the amount of sunlight fall on the earth in minimum amount and the angle of elevation reduces due to this region the area become very large and the amount of heat become very small so due to this region the the temperate zone is basically little cooler than torrid zone friends the torrid zone is basically find found between tropic of cancer to arctic circle in the north hemisphere and tropic of capricorn to antarctic circle in the southern hemisphere here moderate type of temperature is found due to this reason we call it temperate zone friends the last one is frigid zone 
फ्रेंड्स एरिया लाइज बिटवीन आर्कटिक सर्कल एंड एक्टा एंटार्कटिक सर्कल टू दियर रेस्पेक्टिव पोल्स दैट इज नॉर्थ पोल एंड साउथ पोल गेट्स वेरी फ्यू हीट एंड ड्यू टू दिस रीजन दिस एरिया बिकम वेरी कोल्ड फ्रेंड्स हियर अ फिगर इज गिवेन फ्रेंड्स देर आर बेसिकली थ्री कलर वी हैव सीन इन द फिगर द ब्लू कलर रिप्रेजेंट्स फ्रिजिड जोन दिन द ग्रीन लाइट कलर रिप्रेजेंट्स टेम्परेट जोन एंड ऑरेंज कलर रिप्रेजेंट्स टॉरिड जोन सो हियर दोज एरियाज विच आर नियर टू द इक्वेटर दे गेट मोर सनलाइट ड्यू टू दिस रीजन दे आर मच हीट मच हीटर देन टेम्परेट एंड फ्रीजिड जोन डियर फ्रेंड्स हियर वी विल डिस्कस लॉन्गिट्यूड्स एंड टाइम फ्रेंड्स हियर वी हैव टू नो दैट दैट द टाइम डिपेंड्स ऑन लॉन्गिट्यूड सो सो द बेस्ट मे वे टू मेजर द टाइम इज मूवमेंट ऑफ अर्थ मून एंड द प्लैनेट्स डियर फ्रेंड्स द सन रेगुलरली राइजेज इन द ईस्ट एंड सेट इन द वेस्ट रे एवरी डे डियर फ्रेंड्स वेन द सन बिकेम एट द हेड ऑफ जीरो डिग्री लॉन्गिट्यूड दैट इज एट द मेरीडियन वी फाइंड मून टाइम दैट इज ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक फ्रेंड्स एज द अर्थ रोटेट्स फ्रॉम वेस्ट टू ईस्ट दोज प्लेसेज ईस्ट टू द ग्रीन विच मे अ हेड ऑफ ग्रीन विच टाइम एंड दोज प्लेसेज विच आर बिहाइंड ग्रीन विच दे विल रेड्यूज द टाइम दैट इज वेन वी गो ईस्ट वर्ल्ड टू द ग्रीन विच द टाइम विल इंक्रीज अकॉर्डिंग टू द लॉन्गिट्यूड्स एंड वेल वेन वी गो बिहाइंड द लॉन्गिट्यूड टू द ग्रीन विच देन द टाइम विल रेड्यूज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू लॉन्गिट्यूड्स डियर फ्रेंड्स अर्थ रोटेट्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिग्री इन ट्वेंट सॉरी थर्टी सिक्स डिग्री इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स सो वॉट विल द एंगल कवर्ड बाई द अर्थ इन वन आवर दैट इज थ्री सिक्सटी डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी दैट इज फिफ्टीन डिग्री इट मीन्स द अर्थ कवर्स फिफ्टीन डिग्री एवरी आवर इट मीन्स इफ वी गो फिफ्टीन डिग्री अहेड टू द ग्रीन विच द टाइम विल इंक्रीज वन आवर एंड एज वी गो बिहाइंड द ग्रीन विच दैट इज फिफ्टीन डिग्री देन वॉट विल हैपन द टाइम विल रेड्यूज वन आवर सो here is the example let we have discuss when there is one o clock at green beach what will be the time at 20 at 15 degree east and 30 degree west dear friends what we found here we found here that time at 0 degree longitude is 1 pm so when we go 15 degree ahead to the green which what will happen 15 is degree is equal to 1 hour it means time will increase 1 hour so 15 degree ahead to the green which the time will be 2 o clock and on the same way 
when we go 30 degree back to the green beach what will happen 15 degree is equal to 1 hour so 30 degree is equal to 2 hour and thus when we go back 2 hour back to the green beach what will be happen at green beach it is 1 o'clock so at 30 degree back to the green beach it means 13 minus 2 that is 11 o'clock morning so i hope friends you may able to understand how to calculate the time with the help of longitudes friends here we will discuss why the countries have their standard time friends what we have shown in the previous figure we see that some in some countries have very small areas but some other countries like america canada brazil china rus they have covered large area so it contains many longitudes so due to this reason we may suffer to find a standard time because as we passes the area the longitude change and time changes so to avoid the difficulty we set a standard time so that the time will be shown for all areas uniformly so let me take the example of india what we see here in the figure that the area of india lies between 68 eastern longitudes to 97 eastern longitude so what we see here that the local time at different different places differ due to the reasons of the country so friends what we see here in case of india the difference of time between dwarka dwarka that is the western part of gujarat and dhibrugarh that is eastern part of the india so the time difference is approximately 2 hour so the correct is 1 hour and 45 minutes so what we have faced difficulty the difficulty was to choose the standard time so to avoid the difficulty we choose a single time zone and the longitude was decided that 82 and half degree eastern longitude that passes near Mirjapur in Uttar Pradesh so this line is known as Indian standard time friends what we have how we can calculate the time in India with respect to Greenwich friends let me suppose that there is 12 o'clock at the green beach and the standard time zone for india is fixed 82 and half degree eastern longitude then we know that 15 degree longitude is equal to one hour it means 82 and half degree longitude is equal to 5 hour and 30 minutes it means the Indi india is located in eastern longitude then the time will be added in the greenwich time so at the greenwich there is 12 o'clock so in india there will be 5 hour and 30 minute ahead so the time in india will be 12 plus 5.5 that is 17.5 it means what we calculate the time 
earth rotates 20 to uh, 24 hours so 24 hour is basically derived in the clock is 0 to 12 so when we found let's suppose 1 o'clock it means 13 o'clock 2 o'clock it means 14 o'clock 3 o'clock it means 15 o'clock so in the same way 17.5 o'clock it means 12 plus 5 it means 5 and half o'clock so we found that when there is noon at Greenwich the time in India will be 5 30 o'clock so friends I hope you like the video I know that you face some difficulty with interface and sound quality I will make better in next video till then goodbye